you know, our, our main focus in Portage has been the middle income, that missing middle, this whole area of a, around the average income. People are finding it hard to find affordable housing. Uh, but when we do build the higher end, and we do see some developers coming in and building those, those higher end luxury type housing units, uh, those people that are moving up into those are vacating other types of housing, and that cascading effect goes all the way down through all the price ranges, even into the rental units. Uh, so we typically will see movement in the market if we satisfy housing need at any income level. So no matter which income level gets built, it's going to be good for the overall supply of housing. If we want people to continue to work in Portage and live in Portage and grow old in Portage, we need to make sure they've got somewhere to live. Uh, so we're not going to ignore the need. We're going to meet it head on. And in 2023, I think you'll see a continued intentional approach by the leadership, the mayor and city council uh, in finding ways to create an environment where private investors can make housing happen, and I think you'll see it happening in Portage.